Hey, this is Wileen Benson, and you are on the Daily Gratitude Call, where we start every day in gratitude. Gratitude is the highest energy state that we can be in. It creates a frequency of positive vibration that attracts positive experiences into our lives. Hey everybody, this is Wileen Benson. This is our daily gratitude call. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate everybody being here live to help us create an awesome call today. And uh, also wanna welcome all of those around the country and around the world. You know, we've had people here on, uh, from Canada, we've had people here from Germany, um, Hawaii, which is not another country, but it's another continent, <laughs> I guess. And uh, just a love at the connection that we create here on the gratitude call and that social media and technology, Zoom, uh, you know, even phone calls create. I, I remember uh, when I was little, it was such a treat to talk to my grandparents. We lived in Georgia and they lived in Utah. And it was such a treat to be able to have that connection with them. But it was really hard. Those of you who are old enough to remember long distance calls that were super staticky and you had to really listen to even understand what they were saying. I'm just super grateful now that we have such clear connections and we're able to really have those cross country connections. And that is what we're going to focus on today is gratitude for cross country connection. And I'm going to set the timer for 90 seconds and we're going to have a private silent meditation on gratitude for cross country connection. And we'll see what that brings. So just uh, write down whatever comes to you, your inspired thoughts, cross country connection and beginning now. All right. Um, one of the first things that, well, the first thing that came to me was um, I was looking at the people who are here on the call today and we have Gary who's in New York and we have Scott who's in Oregon. So it's like coast to coast. We have people on the call um, from coast to coast, which I was really grateful for and um, just really excited to see the impact, you know, that we're having across the country and around the world. And um, the other thought that came to me was Christ. Um, I don't know exactly the number of miles that he left, you know, when he left home and, beca and began his ministry, he went all around, but I think it was just like a 30 mile radius. He never left, never went like more than 30 miles away from home. And everything at that time was personal connection. There was no telephone, there was no Zoom, <laughs> nothing like that. And so you had to actually walk to every place that he, um, that he influenced people, that he touched people. And what a powerful example he is of performing his ministry and how 
it's still impacting people today all around the world. Christianity is still something that is, you know, and we look to his birth and his ministry and his, his atonement as probably the most important, I, I would say the most important event that happened in our earth's history. Once, once our earth was created, um, Christ coming is the most important thing that has ever happened. And he only went in, you know, just a small geographic area. So I, um, apparently at least at that time, it didn't matter how far geographically you went. There was an ability to make a big influence. And now we have so many different technologies and, things that allow us social media and whatever to allow us to have impact on such a larger scale. I almost feel like, is it, you know, do we have more of a duty or responsibility? Um, The post that I made yesterday for the daily gratitude call yesterday was about neighborliness. And today, you know, I'm thinking about that influence that we have Whereas back in Christ's time, maybe his neighbors were all just within a 30 mile radius, but he still had impact throughout the world. Whereas now the world truly is our neighbors. I can know someone in Oregon and New York equally as um, closely as I know my next door neighbor. In fact, even more so. I know you guys better than I know some of my close next door neighbors. So to me, that just um, it just kind of asks the question, you know, what is our responsibility now with the way that things are um, with being a good neighbor, um, loving our neighbor? It's one of the commandments, the second great commandment that God gave us. Who else has something they'd like to share? I'll share. Um... Thanks, the first thing that came to my mind when I went to college, I was only like 45 miles from home and it was long distance and it was expensive. And now we can communicate with people across the world. When my first grandson just got baptized um, last month, um, we did it by Zoom and they had people watching from eight states Um, across the country from California to St. Louis that he lives in St. Louis and his other grandma was in grandparents were in England watching and Mm. participating and it was just so amazing to me and that we had that clear communication and were able to participate in a baptism um, giving talks and congratulations and um, it was just really awesome so I'm really grateful um, for the influence and impact that we can have um, anywhere. And what a blessing um, Facebook even is. I was talking to a friend who served an LDS mission um, in New Zealand, and he has been able to reconnect with a lot of people that he knew, even though he's never been back. So looking for an opportunity to um, plan a trip to New Zealand and reconnect face-to-face. So when things get better in the travel industry, so just what blessings are ours and it becomes part of our purpose. I think the, the far reaching capabilities that we have because of communications. Oh, beautiful. I love that. Um, I, you know, you were talking about uh, how it was expensive you know, to even call home. I remember that too. That was one of the reasons. I mean, we only called um, my grandparents when I was little, maybe like four times a year. I mean, it was just like super irregular and like uh, not very often. And, um, and think about, you know, all those people that joined that baptism and it was free. There's like no cost whatsoever. And it was so, such a clear connection. And it, it, there, you know, I just have to think that God's hand has been in leading us to this point because connection is so important. And we're very aware of that now with the um, COVID-19. We're so much more aware of these connections that are so important. And um, 
Yeah. And, and I think also um, in the past, we thought that the only way that we could learn or the only way that we could connect or whatever was in person and with social media and with even with COVID-19 forcing us to create some, be creative about how we can connect as families. Um, this is, it's really opened up my eyes to the resources that God has already put in place to help us to, you know, see other options of how we can influence, how we can connect, how we can, you know, fulfill our purpose, like you said. Thank you. Um, who else? I also think that that in-person connection sometimes is what is needed though. Yeah. I was yeah. listening to uh I was listening to a leader of my church, his name is David A. Bednar, and he was talking about how sometimes we need to be in the place to receive revelation. Mm -hmm. Like we need to be in someone's house or something we and not just, you know, text them or something, because sometimes we need to be in the house so that we can receive the direction and the revelation of what what they need and how to minister to people as Christ did. Beautiful. And I also, sorry, I also know that I didn't really know my my father's mom, my Grammy, until... I was an adult because I'd met her, I think, uh, well, we lived there for a month when I was really little, when I was five. But other than that, I met her one time that she came out to visit and we just didn't talk on the phone. We just didn't have very much to do with each other. And once I, as an adult, I went there and I visited her a couple times and then I would call her. I had more to talk to her about because we had that physical connection established. Awesome. I love that. Um, a couple th thoughts that came to me that I would like to add to that is, you know, you're talking a lot about like being in the place to be able to receive the revelation. First of all, um, I remember, you know, we were kind of doing our church study here at home and then um, during COVID-19 and then they opened it up. So we do like a little 30 minute meeting and uh, receive the sacrament and also have a talk and listen to some hymns being played on, on, the, on the piano. And um, I remember the first time I went, I thought, oh, it's not going to be, you know, much different than just, you know, doing this at home. But there was something about the spirit when I walked in um, and just, we didn't even really do a lot of talking one-on-one -on -one with people, you know, and most of everybody had masks on and we were keeping the six foot distance but there was just something about being there. And I can't even really say that there was like a physical presence that I felt or, you know, the spirit or anything like that, but it was just something about me sitting in the church um, that changed the experience of church for me. And um, I'm still, you know, about every other week I'm still doing here at home. And then every other week I'm going to church because that's the way we've got it set up here in my in my congregation, but, um, and, and I'm getting, you know, really good experience both places, but I just, there was a marked difference when I actually was sitting in the church. So I, I agree with what you're saying. Sometimes we have to be in the place and, you know, I, I think it, I can't remember where it is in the scriptures that talks about stand ye in holy places, like be found in good places. And that's um, where God can talk to us. You know, he, his, these are his houses, you know, that he can come and visit the temples and the, the um, meeting places, the churches that we meet are places where his spirit can really be felt that he can come. Um, the other thought that came to me is those of you who are participating in my case study this month, um, to help build your business using the architecture of life blueprint. Um, that was one of the inspired shortcuts that I received in my daily GPS was I need to go visit these people in their houses. And if you're part of that group, you know, um, you're actually going to be getting a phone call from me today <laughs> because that's my inspired shortcut today is make my travel plans. 
Um, but I'm, you guys are, I've got somebody in Oregon. I have a couple people in Idaho. I have one in Chicago. And so, you know, you guys are all spread across the country, but that was my inspired shortcut is to come and be in your house. And I know that that's going to be the best way for me to be able to get to know who you are, what needs to change in your life to be in alignment, you know, so that your business, your life, everything is in alignment. So God can bless you with the wealth that I know he has in store for you. So yes, there's some personal expense that's going to go into that, but that was my inspired shortcut. So I know that's going to be the perfect way for me to serve you. Thank you, Tyree. Um, any other thoughts before we shift over to our permission process? All right, let's go ahead and take a deep breath. And first of all, just feeling the gratitude of all of the wonderful technology that has been invented that um, I, I know that God's hand has been in that to be able to allow us to connect all over the world. Easy connection, free, clear, able to bring families, business, clients, you know, all these different people that is um, important for us to stay connected to, bring us all together. And even for his word to be shared all around the world with YouTube videos and all the different things that we have available to us. Um, it's just amazing to me, the resources that are available to us and almost, um, to the point that we really have no excuse for anything because there's, we have access to everything and everything is free. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. And the first question I have for you is what is the limiting belief coming up for you right now about cross country connection? What's the limiting belief? I'm just going to leave it at that. What's the limiting belief coming up for you about cross country connection? And as you're becoming clear with what that limiting belief is, I invite you to look at the cost of that limiting belief and even go beyond this limiting belief affecting your cross country connection. What other areas in your life does this limiting belief affect? If you look at the words and the universe doesn't differentiate, every connotation of the word is taken into consideration and the universe provides experiences that resonate and are uh, in alignment with all of your beliefs and especially the ones that are really strong, that are deeply held. The, the universe will bring you experiences that are in alignment with these beliefs. And so if this limiting belief is one of those beliefs that the universe brings you experiences that are in alignment with it, what is the cost of having this limiting belief in all areas of your life, in finances, in relationships, in your own personal ability to grow? What, what is the ultimate cost? And if you don't like that cost, if you're seeing for the first time the effect that it's had on your life and you are wanting to change that, you can totally give yourself permission to choose a new belief and allow the universe to start bringing you something new. And so if you are ready to give yourself permission to choose some new beliefs, say yes. 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 Awesome. Thank you. So what are some new beliefs? Let's, let's get two or three new beliefs that will take the place of that old limiting belief will enable the, the universe to be able to bring you some new experiences that are more in alignment with something that you choose, something that you would like, something that will serve you. What new beliefs 
even if you don't have a lot of evidence yet of the truth of them, but go ahead and choose some new beliefs that are going to bring you a different experience. And I invite you to really use these new beliefs as fuel to help, um, help you to expand and grow your influence, to allow yourself to really fully jump into this idea of cross-country connection. And whether this be for personal or business reasons, to allow yourself to be open to understand and know some new options that maybe hadn't been available to you before. Now that you're looking at these new beliefs and you're actually bringing these in to your, uh, to your awareness, to your consciousness, um, to the conscious um, being open to listening for solutions, bring these new beliefs in and just feel the difference and feel the expansion almost like this cross country expansion of your thoughts and your, um, your willingness to receive inspiration and, and solutions. Be um, just really bring those new beliefs in and um, allow them to become part of you so that you are now a person who actually sees things from a broader perspective and, and that you allow and afford more, bigger, um, farther solutions and options and opportunities in your life. And being this new person that has now expanded their ability to create solutions and also being open to receive opportunities, all of these things that having cross-country connection now afford, what is the one most important thing that you could do today to, um, to really anchor in these new ideas, these new concepts, these new beliefs that you have um, brought into your, your understanding? What is your inspired shortcut to really anchoring the idea that you can have these cross-country connections? What's your inspired shortcut today? One most important thing to anchor in these new beliefs and take one step towards having these cross-country connections be easy. In a moment, I'm gonna open it up for some shares. And uh, if there's anyone who is struggling with any of the concepts that we've talked about today or letting go of your old limiting belief or you know, maybe even struggling coming up with new beliefs, um, I invite you to have a 15-minute conversation with me. I would love to have you connect with me um, just by phone. And all you have to do is go to askwileen.com and that will take you directly to my calendar and you can schedule a 15 minute call. Would love to have that time with you. And all you have to do is just go to askwylane.com to schedule that time. Um, who has something that they would like to share about their experience today? In my whole, in my life, I've had the pattern to love people that are directly in front of me. And if, if they are not directly in front of me, then I let go. And I, I have been made aware that it's time to end that pattern and start a new one because I, I have the capacity to love and influence people all over the globe. Wow. Thank you. Everyone. 
You're welcome. Thank you. And Tyree, my guess is that that is, um, my educated guess is that that is one of your gifts to love the people that are in front of you and what a beautiful gift. And now you get to expand what that means. Like who is, who are the people that are right in front of me? And I know that just this one permission that you've given yourself today is going to bless people all across the globe. Thanks, Tyree. Who else would like to share something about their experience today? At first, I was having a difficulty in finding out what my limiting belief was. I was like, well, I just sat there and was listening to you and just jotting down, okay, limiting belief, cost, new, new belief, and they were kind of blank. <laughs> um, then I went back and filled in what I could find. And I guess my limiting belief is that how can I actually have access to those to whom I can have influence on? The cost is a lack of trust and growth. The new belief is to have faith that God will support me in fulfilling mm -hmm. his missions for me. It inspired shortcut is simply just to believe that if I build it, they will come. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the how is never up to us. That is God's privilege to orchestrate things to work in your favor. And you are absolutely right. If you build it and you build it based on his, the inspired shortcuts that you receive from him as you're asking every day, they will come. He has the power to orchestrate everything to allow your path and their, their path to cross and for them to be able to find you. All you have to do is build it and proclaim it and they'll hear you and they'll come. I, I, my own life and business is a testament of that. And I, I know that that's a truth. It takes a lot more faith mm -hmm. than I've currently have to step out and attract that cool so i guess it's stepping out in faith mm -hmm. from others like yourself yeah so that's something that we get to continue working on thank you and and that's how you're going to get the faith right that's how you're going to get the trust in your faith is by stepping out you to get faith you have to have faith <laughs> You have to get that evidence of the truth of faith, you know, how it actually does work. And that requires you stepping out in faith. So that's the first step. Thank you. Any other thoughts? All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for joining our call today. Thank you for everything that has been shared. Um, this has uh, really opened up a lot more than I was thought that it would. Um, you know, when I first said cross country connection, um, I'm just really, really grateful for the time that I live in, the time that we live in, because I know because of my genius of helping people really step into their purpose and live and work within that purpose to touch as many lives as possible. I know that um, this cross country connection is, is imperative to people being able to fulfill all that they want to fulfill in the grandest scheme that is possible. And uh, so I'm super grateful for these cross country connections. And I'm also really grateful that um, I have 
the um, means to be able to connect with all of you cross country and to get to know you. And when Tyree was talking about knowing the person, you know, loving the person right in front of them, you guys are the people right in front of me. And that's, that's what I felt is that those people who choose to be in my communities in my gratitude community and my Lord's way to wealth community in the case study group that we're doing all these communities that, um, that you choose to be a part of that I've built and you've come to, you are the ones that are right in front of me. You are my neighbors. You're like my next door neighbors. And I, I know you and um, feel you and love you as if um, you were in my family, you know, if, as if you were right in front of me. So I know that that is possible as well to have cross country connections that are equally as strong and powerful as um, somebody that's right in front of you. So thank you um, everybody for being here. Um, we'll look forward to being back together tomorrow, 7 a.m. Mountain Time, and uh, super excited to, to connect with you on our Facebook group as well, Breakthrough with Gratitude. Share your thoughts there and any wins that you're experiencing, um, especially those who are stepping into a higher, higher place with making some cross-country connections in a way that is going to be super influential. Um, we'd love to hear about your um, experiences there and share what it is that you want to, I'll give you permission to share on that group, face, um, the Facebook group Breakthrough with Gratitude, any of the things that you are wanting to uh, open up and share with cross-country connections right now um, within your purpose. You have permission to do that today. Um, love you guys, and we will talk to you again tomorrow, 7 a.m. Mountain Time. Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. Love you. Love you too. Thank you. Hey, thanks so much for listening. And I encourage you to tune in every day to the daily gratitude call and the daily gratitude call happens live every weekday morning. I'd love to have you join. So to find out how to join live, go to my website, wileenbenson.com. Thanks for tuning in.